Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Yoi Eats. I'm Yoi, and today we're in New Haven, Connecticut. And while we're in New Haven, we decided to swing by the world famous Yale University and pretty cool to see. Now, this is just such a beautiful university and if you're pretty commutable from New York or New Jersey, I do think it's worth taking a trip up here just to see it sometime. I mean, you know, I didn't have the grades to get into Yale back in the day, but pretty cool that I was able to make my way here and see the campus at least at some point in my life. But we're not here though just to check out Yale or to, you know, blend in with all the college kids and all the future leaders of the world. What we're here for in New Haven is to try the famous New Haven pizza and one of the New Haven joints, Modern A Pizza, was just a few months ago rated the best pizza in the whole US. And if it's one of the best pizzas in the US, it's probably one of the best in the world so let's finish some sightseeing here on campus and then let's go check it out okay guys we finished our tour and exploration of Yale and we are now at a place called modern a pizza a place that was voted by a publication a pizza publication as the best pizza in the whole US not just New Haven not just Connecticut not just the Northeast the whole US and that's saying a lot in New Haven because New Haven is like a pizza mecca some people even consider New Haven pizza to be superior to New York pizza another pizza mecca it took a pretty long time to get in uh, you know I think this place was already regarded as one of the uh, top two pizza joints in the whole city and after the recent accolades that must have just exploded its popularity even more we came at what I thought was off peak at five o'clock and there was already a swarm of people like a whole horde of people waiting to get in it took about an hour actually I want to say like an hour and 20 minutes but we finally were able to get in to potentially the best pizza in town or the whole US let's take a look at the menu why don't we their menu is relatively simple just a uh, one sheet of printed paper although a relatively nice printed sheet of paper but not like a more formal book or anything now just taking a look at the menu the menu doesn't really look that special there's not much on the menu it's just this one page and it's only one page there's not even a second side the second side is just like the story of how modern a pizza was founded and if you guys want to learn that uh, you know go google it or read it on wikipedia but yeah just taking a look at the menu they have all your typical flavors you know like your cheese your meatball and pepperoni and they have some interesting flavors like eggplant and clam and things like that now we hear this clam pizza is pretty good now they have a clam and a clams casino but everyone says that the clam one is the one to get and 1775 for a 12 inch a little expensive but maybe it's worth the price so let's try it because it's definitely different and then next uh, i can't really decide between plain and pepperoni because people say the pepperoni here is good, but the plain slice, I don't know, like I feel like the real way to measure how good pizza is, is plain slice, like just cheese. Cause then you can really measure the dough and the quality of the cheese and the sauce. So you know what, let's do this. Let's ask them if we can do half. Let's ask if we can do half plain and half pepperoni. So? Uh, yeah, so do you do half pies? We sure do, yeah. The nice. only thing we can't do half pies is the margarita. Oh. Great, um, so we'll do a small clam. Small clam, just a clam. Well, uh, clam, clam. And can you put the red or white? And that's just the clams, right? Or did you want to add bacon and peppers to make it a casino? Uh, just a clam, just a clam, you got it. And to clarify, uh, that's only clams? Because I can't eat, like, crustacean chocolate. Yep, it's just clams. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, and then, um, so let me do a half clam and half pepperoni. Uh, plain is, is that kind of like the like the typical like small slice like the like the plain pizza? So it'll just be soft and then they sprinkle some grated cheese on top. Oh. Compared to like a regular cheese pizza, which would be the mozzarella. Most people do mozzarella. I would say yeah. Okay, mozzarella. Okay. And yeah. what was the other half? I'm sorry. Uh, pepperoni. And size small as well. Yes. Okay, before we review the pizza, I actually found out that here they don't use Coca-Cola products or Pepsi. They have their own, like, New Haven, well, technically East Haven brand of cola called Fox on Park, was it? Fox on Park in East Haven just next door. And yeah, this is like a local brand of cola. So not Coca-Cola, but a cola, but a New Haven specific one. So let's try it for UAE Eats. 
You know, interesting. To be honest, it basically tastes exactly like Coca-Cola. So, you know, almost exactly the same, but but I don't know about you guys, Coca-Cola kind of has this weird aftertaste for me, like this weird like syrupy aftertaste. And we have none of that off-putting syrupiness here. Like it just tastes like a really fresh, refreshing soda cola beverage. And nice carbonation as well. Not too carbonated, but not too flat. So the perfect amount of carbonation. So I dig this. Oh, cool. Look at that oven. Wow, look at that. You see them smoking on the bottom. Here, one second. You'll see, you'll see this kick on One second. Okay. Whoa. Okay, our glorious New Haven pizza is here from Modern A Pizza. Our half cheese and half pepperoni and our clam pizza. I recently did an allergy test and I think I can eat clams now. You know, I think clams was ruled a safe thing to eat. So I'm going to celebrate this revelation by trying some clam pizza from arguably the best pizza joint in the whole US. And this pizza joint, as you guys know, did not neglect to get rid of these amazing heat bubbles. That is a super new move to pop those. And we got our classic cheese slice. Now what's interesting here is that plain slice here is actually just nothing but tomato sauce and some grated parmesan. That's all it pretty much is. And I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't sound super appetizing to me, especially since I found out that most Parmesan cheese outside of really authentic Italian restaurants and markets is not real Parmesan cheese and often even includes wood pulp. And this is the pepperoni side. Um, I mean, the pepperoni looks good. Like it looks nice and oily and nice and thinly cut and delicious, although I personally have a soft spot for thick cut pepperoni because I like the way that it curls up. Cheese is looking good, not too greasy. Crust is looking nice and shard. And does it have like leopard spotting on the bottom? It does. Look at that leopard spotting. Like it looks like it's got that char from the oven. Both pizzas have that. I can't wait. And this is a white clam pizza. So not a red pizza. So it should be pretty special. How was the man to decide between two great looking pies? Let's start with clam first to celebrate the revelation that I'm probably not allergic. This looks like a nice sized slice of pizza. All right, clam white pizza, oh, let's go. Looking pretty good, right? The front and the back and some delicious juicy runoff. Oh man. And that's the first clam I've eaten in like 10 years. I think the best thing about this pizza is the crust. Like you really taste that like fire from the oven. You get this delicious like crispy, crusty bits all over this pie. The epic heat bubbles add both texture and airy delicious pockets. The clam is fresh. The white sauce pairs perfectly with it. Almost like you're eating like a clam pasta or something. The cheesy mozzarella, nice and stringy and yummy. Excellent, excellent pie. But the crust is still the best part, especially these charred edges. Mmm. Mmm. Really, the crust just has like this I don't know, this flavor that I just can't explain. Like a flavor that only comes from just having that perfect dough recipe, that perfect char from the oven, perfect heat control, char and flavor from the fire. It's just incredible. But it's time to move on from the clam pizza and let's try a good old plain slice. Or in this case, this is just their mozzarella slice. So, how does New Haven Modern A Pizza handle the classic Ninja Turtle New York style slice? Calabunga! Oh, oh, very good. I think I like this one even more than the clam one. This one, that quality of the cheese is just, uh, it just tastes fresh. Like it's got some great fresh dairy flavor. Like the cheese is just 
bursting with flavor. Not too greasy, not too oily. Like, take a look. Like, they cooked it to the perfect temperature, so it's not like they pushed, like, that oil out of the cheese. It's not, like, too hot that the oil is separating from the cheese. The sauce, too. Let's see how much sauce is in this. Okay, it doesn't look like there's much tomato sauce in this. Um, it looks like there are traces of some, but there's not really much. You know, maybe it would be nice if there was a little bit more tomato sauce, because that sweet tomato sauce, that tart tomato sauce, might really pair with this delicious, stringy, fresh mozzarella cheese. But it's still a very good pie. Like, you know they're doing a good job when there's not really that much tomato sauce, yet the pie does not feel incomplete without it. Mmm. Mmm. And the best part, the end. The delicious charred edges. Mmm. When it comes to like good dough foods, whether it's pasta or pizza or noodles or you know, even cakes. The devil's in the details and they just know how to get the most out of that dough. So this dough recipe just must be under lock and key. Cheese is perfect as well. Not too greasy, not too oily, but not devoid of grease. You know, I hate when fancy pizzas are not greasy at all. Like it's got like enough grease in a good way. I guess my only complaint is I wish there was a little bit more sauce, but hey, you know, I'm sure they know what they're doing. One more before we reach a verdict. The pepperoni slice. Some spicy, oily pepperoni on a mozzarella cheese slice. Now this pepperoni not only looks delicious and oily and nice and thin, it looks like they also seasoned it a little bit as well. Can't wait to try this. I just have a feeling this is going to be great. Mm. Pepperoni has pretty good flavor. Honestly, I'm being completely honest. I can't really decide which of these three is my favorite because they're all good in like different ways. Like obviously the clam one is good in like a special way. Like I don't really eat clam pies very often. The plain slice just really takes like that tried and true formula and really perfects it. And the pepperoni slice, let me tell you, these pepperoni pieces are just like, are excellent. They're not soggy, like they might look like they're not that crispy, but they are. They're nice and crisp and kind of crunchy in a way. Packed full of oily flavor, spicy. Like, you know, people talk about like spicy pepperoni, but th this actually, like you really taste some spice flavor in it. And I like that they seasoned them a little bit with, I presume, black pepper. This is not your run of the mill pepperoni, let me tell you. Mm. If you want like a really savory, meaty pie, I don't know, this, this pepperoni one is, is pretty good. I mean, all of them are good if you just look at the amazing crust on the bottom and those like almost like burnt bits that just taste excellent on the bottom of your mouth and the roof of your mouth as you chew the rest of the cheese and the dough. But as far as savory slices go, it's hard to beat this pepperoni slice. Hey guys, um, so long story short, uh, Basically, I had some sound issues, uh, so I actually lost some of the clips because of bad sound. Uh, so I realized that my conclusion, I didn't have any sound for it, so I'm filming the conclusion afterwards. Uh, and it's actually been like a couple weeks since I went, and I'm actually, uh, I'm actually sick now, so. I wanna, I try to usually post at least once a week, and this is the only time that I have to do it. It's the only time I have to edit, so just need to film this final clip last minute. But yeah, just to share my final thoughts on Modern Pizza, or I think it's actually supposed to be Modern Abitz. I think that's how you're supposed to say it, so. It was very, very good. Like, I would say that it definitely lived up to the hype for me, and in terms of the best pizzas I've had, I would say it was probably top five. It, it was very, very good. Uh, now, I will say that uh, in terms of whether it was worth the hype in terms of its title, like the best pizza in America, and also the fact that we waited like almost an hour and a half just to eat there. I'm not sure if it was worth all that. Like it was very good, but I'm not sure if it was worth, you know, waiting so long just to get inside. I think when it comes to rankings in general though, I think rankings are very subjective. Like, you know, everyone has their own biases and their own preferences. So, so yeah, I guess I would say for me, it was top five pizzas I've had. Uh, it, it wouldn't be my top one personally. And that's not because I didn't think it was good, but I just have pizza pizza places that I prefer, particularly in New York. I think John's of Bleecker Street, where we went not too long ago since 
I filmed this video and a video, you know, be on the lookout for this video whenever you get a chance. But John's of Bleecker Street, I think, has a pie that I would say is comparable and uh, I would probably put John's of Bleecker Street above this place. In terms of my personal favorite, I'm really, really partial to this place Best Pizza in Brooklyn. Despite its simple name, it's a very fitting name. Best Pizza for me, particularly their grandma slice, it's incredible and for me that's my number one pizza so far. But of course, you know, I totally get that I am susceptible to preferences and biases and nostalgia so so I guess to answer the ultimate question that we came here to answer Moderna Beats definitely pretty legit if anyone has Moderna Beats in their top three no complaints from me is it in my top three probably not but you know once again it all comes down to preference and it just depends on what you like anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching what do you think of Moderna Beats do you think Moderna Beats lives up to the hype and is the best pizza in the whole US and what's your favorite pizza joint in New Haven, New York or wherever? Let me know in the comments because great minds eat alike. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date whenever I post another video. I'm gonna rest and get some R&R &R so that I can be back out there making videos for you guys. So until next time, I'll see you later.